Jeff Kelso, and welcome back to the garage. Today, we're diving into drill bits. Some of the issues my guys have is the drill bit doesn't cut, it dulls too quickly, it's getting too hot, or just snaps and breaks. If you're having any of these issues, stick around, and I'll tell you how to fix them. The most common bit found on your shops is your black oxide standard point drill bit, which is not a bad bit if you're drilling through wood, plastics, or other soft metals like copper. The problem is, most of my guys are drilling through steel frames or other hard metals. You find these guys in most of the shops because they're cheap. I mean, when you go through so many drill bits, why buy the expensive one? I mean, a drill bit's a drill bit, right? Well, yes and no. These standard point bits are made out of black oxide, have a 118 degree flare, and have two cutting edges at the end of the tip. There's no special coating on here that helps protect it against heat. Another drawback from this bit is that the 118 degree flare will allow for a little bit of walking when you're drilling a hole. Because these bits only have two cutting sides, a lot of my guys are spending more time drilling holes than they should be. This bit is great for your average home user, but for my guys in shops with deadlines, saving time is crucial. This is not a sponsored video, but I've been using these bits by Consolidated Toledo for a very long time, and I absolutely love them. What I recommend what I recommend to my guys is switching to the split point drill bit. Why? I recommend the mechanics link. It's a shorter bit, which means less chance of snapping in the drill. It has a 135 degree flare on there, and it actually has four cutting edges versus the two. These guys are made out of high palladium tool steel. Then heat treated to over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and then given a nitro carburized finish, which actually makes them harder than your high speed steel drill bits. So the nitro carburized finish is the amber gold coating you see on here. This substantially reduces the heat that's built up when drilling your holes. So for our test, we're gonna take each of these drill bits and drill a hole in a grade eight nut. To make drilling your holes easier and increase the life of your bit, tool cutting oil is definitely recommended. If you don't have tool cutting oil, a little dab of transmission fluid will do you just fine. So let's show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, our split point just ate right through that grade eight nut with no problems. Our other guy did the job, but it took much longer. That's time I could be using to do more important things. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for checking out the video. If I solved one of these issues or taught you something you didn't already know, drop me a like and go Pels.